Well, I got to tell you, I, I was, um, uh, well, I am humble. That's really great. But I was also surprised that people would nominate me for this. There's so many. I saw the list of people. There's so many great people that are um, nominated and involved there. So to me, to be part of that group is, uh, is, is, is uh, rewarding, and, 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 and I'm, I'm happy. I am the first Latina, Hispanic um, a vice president um, of Rutgers University. I'm excited uh, to be part of this uh, award, to be among the honorees of this award. Well, let me tell you something. Uh, I've been recognized by many, many organizations, institutions, non-Latino, non-Hispanic. This is the first time that an institution that comes from the same roots that I come has selected me to receive this award. And it's very significant for me and for my children and my grandkids because it's a demonstration of recognition of the work and the efforts that a Latino during 50 years have done in this community. I want to thank the Institute of Latino Studies because of the following. A, this great organization has recognized the hard work of many Latinos and Latinas in the various fields, some in education, some in technology, some in business, some in religion. And without this documentation, the story of our people will not go forward. So I am thankful and grateful that this organization is documenting for the history records, the contribution of many people. Therefore, for me, I am very thankful and humble to be selected by my peers, by my countrymen, that I am able to be recognized with others and to share in this, what I call, very important historical event in this time of our history in this country where many times in the United States the contributions of Hispanics are not seriously considered or they're not even recognized for the most part. I just want to thank the interview in the name, in my name and in the name of the community. Well, I would like to thank the, the Latino Institute. They recognized what I had done in my life. I would like to thank those who nominated me, and particularly the Institute for Latino Studies and the, the Board of Directors of the Institute for the Latino Studies for this recognition. I want to thank the Institute of Latino Studies for doing this, but more importantly, what I am really impressed with is what they are doing, which is capturing the history of many Latinos who have been struggling here in the United States to succeed and have that as a record for other young Latinos in the future to look to them and say, if they can do it, I can do it. And I think that preserving this history is an amazing project and I really want to thank the Latino Institute for doing this. I am honored by the Institute and by its board of directors in having been selected as a nominee of this illustrious award. I would like to thank the Institute for Latino Studies and the Board of Directors for nominating me. I honestly, first of all, I don't know how I was honored, but I do respect that I'm being honored and I appreciate it. And I would like to thank them because sometimes you reflect back and your work you say, wow, look, with the questions that I answered before, wow, look at the journey. So I, I, I would like to thank them for making me reflect on the journey. Me siento muy orgulloso nada más de ser, haber sido nominado para este honor que me están dando. Eh, 
yo creo que sería como un, la primera vez que I'm so proud for having been nominated for an Illustrious Award. Ilusos. This is the first time in my life that I have been nominated to receive such a highest honor. I'm so happy I have been selected. I hope I can win the award. I don't know, um, but I'm so happy. I would like to thank the Institute for Latino Studies for being an institution with such a good reputation and also dedicated to the empowerment of the Latino community. If I had to say professionally, my major accomplishment had three. Serves as an Undersecretary of Health in the Dominican Republic and Welfare for three years, but also in the United States, the creation of Corinthian Medical IPA, and lately, the most important of all, advocate community provider, a non-profit organization with more than 2,000 physicians who serve more than a million patients in poor communities in New York. Many of them are Latino doctors with their patients in those areas. Well, first, I would like to thank the Latino Institute and its board of directors for documenting the migrant experiences to, of, of Hispanics to the Americas, because that's the first thing I want to thank them for doing that, acknowledging the importance of that now into the future of the United States of America, because this country in 2015, almost half the population in America will be of Hispanic descent. Now that's very, very powerful. And secondly, I want to thank them for, you know, honoring me, you know, with, with this award or the possibility of this award. Um, it means a lot to me because of, the, of what I just stated about the Latino Institute, you know, an organization like that, that started by people that have that sensitivity to the community. I mean, I am extremely grateful and humbled by the Institute of Latino Studies for nominating me for this award. I mean, I love what I do, and to be recognized for doing what you love to do it's an incredible accomplishment and coming from the background that coming uh, come from uh, such a poor family and uh, reaching the, the goals that I've reached and being given the opportunities that I've been given in this great country of ours to help people and then to be recognized for it it's humbling we want to dedicate this all the work that you're doing and what we're doing to our community, to all of us here in the United States, making the difference, showing that our people, we are quality, good people. We are so humble and thankful, and God bless all of you. Thank you. So again, this is very humbling, and for me to win would be absolutely incredible. The fact that I'm a young Latin woman making a difference in the world, and being able to be a mentor for other young Latin women Growing up with nothing, wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth, this is an incredible honor and I would love to pass it down to other children and kids that want to become something and are able to do that. Thank you. And the illustrious Lifetime Achievement Award goes to Mr. Arthur O. E. It is absolutely wonderful, absolutely wonderful. The first Dominican elected in the United States of America. What a great honor. What a great, 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 great honor. Yes.